everybody and welcome. This is Lexi over at the Podunk Paper File and today um, I bought some acrylic black gesso from Hobby Lobby and this is really, um, this isn't as thick as I had hoped it would be. It's the Master's Touch brand. If I were to paint and put this down it would be great but um, it's kind of runny and stuff for this scenario, but I'm going to show you how I made these cute altered envelopes. So these envelopes started out just plain white envelopes. Um, I put some colors down and then I put a stencil down and used the black gesso. I also did that. I put, I used this one. I used ink. This one I used gelatos and this one I also used distress ink, but I used some of this glitter paste that I got from like, I don't even know. It was, it's a scrapbook supply store here in Orem. And it just, they just have like old supplies. They're super cheap. See 2018, it might've expired, but it works great. And I used it to make this cute envelope. Now I didn't get to the backside cause they weren't dry yet, but I think they're super cute and I think that doing the back would be easy just do the black on there you know and maybe color the side or glue something there super easy so let me show you how I did them okay now I'm gonna show you with the black I'm gonna show you the glitter place paste and then I'm also gonna show you one with um, just regular acrylic gesso that I got from Joann's so to start I grabbed some plain old white envelopes um, Hobby Lobby had these half off, so I paid $2 for 12 envelopes. And I'm going to need three of them to show you guys. Okay. Uh, sorry, just one second. I'll be okay, sorry about that. I just had to grab some, like, cards. Um, You know, if the fake credit cards you get in the mail or old library cards that you don't use anymore and stuff like that. Um, I use those to spread the stuff around. Um, what I'm using today though, I got this from JCPenney or Zales, I guess. It came in the mail and it had a card on it already, but the rest of it is like that card material, so I thought I would use it. Okay, so let me move these. Now, the first thing that I did was I got out my gelatos. They're Faber-Castell um, colors. I just bought a pack of them, and these all these colors came in the pack that I bought. And um, they're kind of expensive, but they are really fun. And I would probably buy them again because I do like them a lot. So um, originally what I did was I did like a, like a rainbow type thing. But I think for this one, I don't think I'm going to do like a rainbow. I think I'm going to do dots or something unique, something different, you know? Why not? Oops, I gotta fold this up. And what I did was I opened up my envelope and did some on the flap as well, just to get some more coverage. And I think it's really cute to do the flap and then you can glue the flap to a page and the envelope will open on the other side, if that makes sense. Okay. So how's everybody doing? Um, I have been doing really good. I'm happy. I feel very happy, which is good. My daughter has some health issues that we've been dealing with. It's been kind of, it's actually been really stressful. Um, I know that she's been in a lot of pain because she's got gastro, gastrointestinal acidosis, which, um, in, which essentially just means that she has a buildup of um, acid in her stomach caused from stress. She is 11 years old. I don't, anyway. So that's kind of where we're at with that. I'm, uh, 
I've been really stressed out about it and I just want her to be okay because I feel so bad. I mean, for almost two weeks, she was just hunched over in so much pain. And we had gone to the doctor multiple times. Well, the last time we went, he started to do a little bit more researching and then he was like, oh yeah, I think I know what it is. So if what we're doing now doesn't work, then we're gonna have to have our gallbladder checked next. But so far, what we're doing now has been working really well, so um, I do have a lot of hope that it will go well. Um, I'm just doing rainbow colors because why not, you know? Rainbows are pretty. Here, let's just fill the rest of it in with purple. So gelatos are really cool. They have a texture kind of like if a Crayola, like a crayon and some lipstick had a baby, it would be a gelato. That's exactly like, I don't know how else to describe it. It's like an adult crayon because you can smear it around, but it's not chalky. It's more waxy. So um, these are really fun. I really like my gelatos and they last forever. I've had these for a long time and I, I mean, I've used them so. And I thought I needed more and like all these colors. I got a pack that had pretty much the basic colors and I've been pretty happy with that. I don't think I need more. All right, so what you do is you put the color down with these and the next thing you do is you smear it around. You can use, um, this is a really hard whack, uh, sponge, like a, it's really dense, it's hard. You can use that or you can just use your, your finger and I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm gonna start with the lightest colors and go to the darkest colors so that I don't get uh, light in my dark and, or dark in my light, I mean. See, these just smear around just like lipstick, I think. Okay. This is so much fun. I love these. Okay. Sorry, green, you turned brown because I have purple. I have all these colors on my finger. Here, I'll just use another finger. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Nobody's gonna stop us from crafting. So I've been packing her lunches to school and things like that. She made it through the whole day yesterday, which is the first time in two weeks. So I'm really hopeful that she will make it through the rest of this week. And um, we're just going to go up from here. But I have been, it's been hard for my poor baby. I've just felt so bad for her. See how that just comes together and it looks so cute. So if you mix yellow and purple together, you're gonna get brown. So I'm just gonna be really cognizant and try not to get that purple into that yellow too much. Same with red and green will make brown. If they're on opposite ends of the color wheel, that's how you know. It won't go good together. It'll make you brown, okay. Woohoo! This is just lovely. All right, so it doesn't look like much yet because we need to um, put our other colors down. So for now, it just looks like a child's drawing, you know, <laughs> which it totally is. I am a child. So anyway, the next thing I'm going to grab are I have this stencil that's got numbers on it, and I thought, why not? You know, let's try it. So should we do this one in white or black? I think I want to do this one in white. <gasps> oh, hiccups. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to grab the card and I'm going to put a bunch of this gesso on there. This I got at Joann's. I think it was on sale. Um, Simply Dealer Roni. De La Roni brand. And I think I spent like $10 on it, but this bottle's lasted me forever, so it's fine. Okay. And we'll just start laying it down. Just really light. And you can like, you can tape down your uh, 
stencil if you really want to. I don't. Um, I probably should and would get better results if I did, but eh, eh, I'm fine. You know, we got time for that. Except for the people that have time for that. <laughs> All right, so maybe I'll do some this way. Oh my gosh, last night, so my neighbor's dog has been barking, um, different dog. So it's this one, this other one's okay, usually it doesn't bark. So when it does, you know, it's like, it's fine. But last night, my dog, my dog, my wiener dog, oh, I could have killed her dead, you guys. I could have killed her dead. She would not stop barking. No, sorry, she wasn't barking. She was crying at two o'clock in the freaking morning because she couldn't get her blankie on her. Like, and then I go downstairs and she's like laying in it. Ugh, dude, you guys, I'm so annoyed. I literally bought a freaking dog whistle in the middle of the night because she has been so annoying and like just crying at the bottom of the stairs every freaking night that I'm done. Like I'm just done. I can't handle it anymore. I can't. So yeah. Okay, we'll put some numbers over on this side. Now, I'm running a little low of in of paste on here, but so I'm gonna grab some more. Yeah, it just drives me nuts. And so my husband's like, I was wondering what you bought on Amazon at two o'clock in the morning, and I was like, Yeah, I bought a freaking a dog whistle because I can't stand it anymore. Like, pff, no, I ain't gonna have no dog that cries because of a blankie. Sorry, just not happening. <laughs> she okay. So there we go. That looks really cute. We've got some really cute numbers on there. And now it looks like, I don't know, you can still see the dots, but I think it's cute now. I think it looks good. So I'm going to put this off to the side. You just have to watch this with soap and water and that gesso will come right off. Um, I just want to put it somewhere, <laughs> somewhere for now. Let's see. Let's take this up. I'll just put it right there for now and let it dry. Okay, so I'm gonna put this off to the side, but there's our first one, and that was using gelatos. And the next technique that I did, because I was like, well, not everybody's gonna have gelatos probably, is I used my Distress inks, and um, I'm gonna pause you for a second, and I'm just gonna wipe off my desk. Sorry about that. Now let me, so the next one I did is I just started grabbing my oxides and putting them down on the paper. And um, you can use your sponge or you can just use this right to it. Either way is fine. Um, mine's, this one kind of dried out because of you know who leaving it out all night long. Yes, my five-year-old left it out overnight. Drove me nuts. I was like, kids, man. So anyway, we'll use what's in what we've got here. And it doesn't have to look pretty because you're going to cover a lot of um, the space with uh, what am I trying to say? You know, ugh, that stuff. Okay, so that first color was candied apple. Now this is picked raspberry. And I use pink and red dauber for pink and red. I just don't care. Nope, I do not. I should, but I don't. Okay, there's my pink. We'll put some purple. No, I think I want blue next. So this is Mermaid Lagoon. I have blue dauber. Okay. And then maybe I'll do some green or some purple. This is super pigmented and these are oxides I really like the oxides they're fun to use all right so now I'm gonna do green because it's right here and this is mowed lawn um, my purple is wilted violet my green is this green is mowed lawn 
and it's a really pretty green. Um, let's do I've got these little tinies. What colors are they? Orange and green? Here, we'll do this orange. I don't know where I got this. There we go. Cute! Um, maybe for... So, I wanted to do black gesso, but I'm going to use this white gesso up because it's here. And so because I'm going to use the white gesso, I want to grab my black soot. Um, this one's my oxide. I have an oxide and an ink. They both work really well. But I'm just going to go with the black in between the colors just for fun. Just to say we did. Oh, Bella. That's that dog that's barking. She's a good girl, though. She's one of those really pretty, they look, I don't know what they're called, but they're hunting dogs and they're gray and they look kind of like a lab, but they're gray and they have longer legs and they're more lean and they're just like the most beautiful. She is such a pretty dog. Um, very territorial too. Not in a bad way, like she just, she guards her, her stuff. Okay, let me find another stencil. How about this one? This is my favorite stencil. I got it at Michael's. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna do this way. Yeah, that'll work really good. All right. Oh, Bella. My cat's name is Bella too, but try and tell her that. She'd be like, um, that's key to you, human. So I basically just push the color down into the stencil and then I squeegee it off the top of the stencil like that. Just a, few, a little bit more down here and that looks good enough. And there we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay. That is just so cute. I love it. I love these. Um, these things. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do this example um, with the glitter paste. And I'll, I'll show you a black one too. Like it won't be an issue. So I've got enough envelopes. And I probably have more somewhere too. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna grab my baby wipe from before and just kinda wipe everything up a little bit. I like to stay on top of it so it doesn't get so bad that I have to like, you know, deep clean everything because who wants to do that? Not me. All right, so for that one, I grabbed my Black Soot Distress Ink because I've only got this pink glitter color and I was like, well, what other color would look good? Maybe we could do Mermaid Lagoon. Would that look cute? What do you think? Should we do it? Should we just try it and see? Okay. And with this one, I just used the pad right on the um, paper and it makes this really cool. I like the pattern that it makes. It's kind of, it's like antiqued and weird and I like it. So that's why I did it. That's why I do most things. <laughs> Cause I like to. And you know what, while we're here, let's just do this side for fun. I could have done the other ones too, but like the gelatos and stuff, it takes a while to color with those. Um, so anyway, okay, that is really cute. I love that. I love how it just gives it this really unique, vintage, antiqued look, and it takes 30 seconds, all right? Now, with this one, I also used the card idea and I'm just gonna wipe off the white gesso from the card. Um, and I used one of these really pretty corner. So I got these like corner stencils from Joann's. Um, they came in like a two pack or whatever, 
but you basically just you line it up where you want it to go and I'm going to do this one right here on this bottom corner and you just get your glitter paste out and uh, put it on your card and go to town. Pretty easy stuff here. This glitter paste cost me like a dollar, two dollars because it's old and expired or something, but it was worth it. I like it a lot. I do. Okay, there we go. So, smash and drag. be oh yeah that looks really pretty oh hi hello Kiki no don't step in it don't now ah. go on shoo okay and then I did another stencil on the flap and I just used this one because it's it kind of just fit there really well so I'm gonna do it again because why not get some more of this glitter paste and close that up. I think you could probably use a popsicle stick to get things out of there or you could even use a q-tip if you wanted. Uh, I will just go wash my hands when I'm done. I don't care but some people don't like that and you know I actually I used to have really severe OCD about getting things on my hands um, like Every time I would pet the dog, I would wash my hands every time I would, which that one kind of hasn't died. Um, I still do that, but um, every time I like used to do anything, I just wash my hands every like 15 minutes. It was bad. And my hands got so dry and cracked that it started to get really painful. And um, they still do it sometimes. Um, what do you want to show them? Oh, yeah, sure. There's his game he's playing. Super Mario 3D World. Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Castle? Bowser's Fury. Fury, okay. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> and anyways, I'm glad I don't have that problem anymore, but I understand what it feels like. I had to work on that one for a while. I used to shower like three times a day. <laughs> My hair was like falling out. So I think it'd be really cute if I took like this one and did it on this side when the other side dries, like somewhere right there or something. But that's super cute, super easy. Um, now let's do something with black, right? Do we need, we have time, we have time. Okay, so that's, oh my gosh, that's just so pretty. Now, I just had a really cute idea. Let's see how it goes, okay? So what I'm thinking is putting the pink paste all over and then doing the black over the top of the pink paste. So it's going to be a mess, but bring it on, man. Let's see how it goes. So, and I don't know where else you can get this glitter paste. I'm sure you can get it at Joann's. I've never really looked for it, though, so that's probably why I've never noticed it there. But I don't know. It. Okay, so let's just put this down right on the paper. Smear that Shopco foundation round. <laughs> oh, I had a friend that there was this girl that neither of us liked because she was just horrible. And he used to make fun of her. Um, say that. Smear that Shamco foundation round. Because she had, like, a lot of makeup on. But, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. 
don't, you know, when you're young, you just, you do horrible things and you look back and you're like, wow, I wish I never would have been like that. And, or done that or said that and you overthink it for the rest of your life. That's one of those things for me. Okay, so I think I need a little more paste for over here. I might just... Just smear it around like this. Okay. Yeah, if you can believe it. I was actually, I was the worst in high school. I was such a bully. And um, I'm not going to say my home life was great, though. It really wasn't. But I hate, I hate that I was that way back then. And now I run into people and they're like, oh, you're so cool. Back in high school, you were awful. And I'm like, I know. I'm so sorry. I had a lot of growing up to do and a lot of lessons to learn before I could, you know, be nice, I guess. And uh, it's unfortunate, man, but hey, you know, I think all of the people that I ever was the worst to, I've I've reached out to and made, made amends for that, I hope. If I haven't, then call me out on it, man. Come, come at me. Let me know. And I will freaking... We can talk about it. I had one girl call me. It was so crazy because this never happened, but... She, she was like, I just want to let you know, I forgive you. And I was like, for what? You know, cause I didn't even remember who she was at first. And she's like, for lighting my car on fire and stealing my purse. And I was like, okay, that actually was not me. I think I would have remembered that. <laughs> and so in this really long conversation with her and I was like, I'm pretty sure that I didn't ever do that to you. And, um, I was like, you know, I might've been a bully, but I, <laughs> I didn't light your car on fire. I promise. <laughs> And anyway, we ended up having this really great conversation, but it seemed like she just needed to have that talk with anybody just that would listen to her. And I told her, you know, I was like, I'm so sorry. I really was horrible back then. And I'm, I, you know, I have no excuse for how I acted back then. And I, you know, I hope that you, you turned out okay and whatever, you know, cause bullying is horrible. And, um, she was like, oh, yeah. She was like, I really thought it was you all this time and because somebody told me it was you. And I was like, and you believe that person? <laughs> like, really? I'm like, if I would have done that, I would have told you. I would have owned up to it at this point in my life. <laughs> like, totally would have. Um, and probably tried to repay her in some way. But I, did, I, I just didn't. And I don't know. I just felt sad that that was my reputation. Yep. For a minute, I almost believed her, and I was, like, thinking back, and I was, like, did I really do that? No, I didn't do it. I wasn't a thug. I was just kind of mean to other kids. But I didn't, like, light people's car on fire or commit theft or anything like that. I was just mean. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad the tables have turned. <laughs> My life is so much better now. All right, so this stuff does dry pretty quick, and I'm just trying to wipe up a little bit of this mess I've made. Now, this glitter paste sticks real good to every surface that you put it on, and uh, I bet you could use glitter glue here, too. Like, I don't see why not. It just would make the paper warp more than this stuff does. Okay, so... I'm gonna grab this stencil I've got over here. I got this stencil at Michael's and oh my gosh, it is so cute. I love this stencil. I think there like that would be cute or like this maybe, maybe. Yeah, let's do it like that so that you can see that this is a stump and so on. Okay. Alrighty. This stuff was really watery and I was really surprised by it. So it doesn't smear as good as I had hoped it would, but you know, you work with what you got. Okay, and we'll just jump in, I guess. Um, I would suggest putting plastic or something down that you know you can clean easily for this. Because me, I'm just putting it on my glass mat, but I can just wipe that right up, you know. Okay, so it looks like a little bit lighter of a touch here because we have a bigger stencil. Um, need 
some more. Come on. Sorry, my left hand is weak. Okay. Oh, I'm tired of barking dogs. They rule my world. Mine, the neighbors, the other neighbors. They're just everywhere now. Like, come on. Don't have a dog if you're going to lock it outside all the time, okay? Just do the world a favor. Unless it's like specifically like bred and raised to be a hunting dog or a hound dog or something like that, you know? Where even then you still need to show your pet some love, okay? I'm just gonna say it. Okay, so I'm trying to get some of this black in here. <clears throat> okay, that's about as good as I think I'm gonna get it. So let's see how this goes. All right. Yes, that looks nothing like a tree. <laughs> but you know what? It's cool. It still looks cool. I like it still. So if you find value here and you like listening to me ramble about my life, my previous life, my past life, my current life, uh, please hit that subscribe button below. Um, if you hit the bell at the bottom of the video and turn on notifications, every time I upload a video, you'll get notified so you can see everything as it comes. And um, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy. I've got two things left in my Etsy shop. I'm going to be uploading more here this sometime this week. And I hope that all of you have a wonderful day. And um, yeah, we'll see you later. Okay, bye. <laughs>